Hello everyone, I think it's about time for me to go ahead and address a series of videos that were done by a small YouTuber named JohnKill3D Gaming. This name should be familiar to a lot of you who saw a video I did recently called The Ultimate Console Fanboy, and I still stand by that. However, this was a video that was done based on a video he did that was originally titled JohnKill3D Gaming Presents 5 Reasons Console is Better. Come at me, bro. In the interest of fairness, I suppose I don't technically know if this was the original name of the video. Part of me says it isn't, but this was the earliest screen grab that I could get. And that's relevant, because shortly before he removed this video from YouTube, he had altered the name to Top 5 Reasons Why I Prefer Console Gaming. And you'll see why this will come up later in the video. And no, I don't know why Reasons is possessive. In any event, he not only removed his original video, but he had made about four or five other videos after that addressing people that had addressed his video in some videos where he just goes after people or bitches about me or he simply doubles down on every single thing that he said or he claims it was a troll or it was made just to get reactions. But we'll address all those things as they pop up in the videos. But before we begin, I want to add one little caveat here. There will be a lot of jumps and stutters in these videos because since he removed all of this content from YouTube, I had to get these videos from other people's responses and then edit out their bits to get his original videos, or at least most of them. So that's why it'll stop for a moment and there'll be little abrupt pauses. I'm not trying to fool anybody or pull the wool over people's eyes. Let's go. What's up guys, this is John from John Kill 3 d back here again, and you know what, I'm gonna have a little fun in this video. I let my nephew play some Disney Infinity Battlegrounds in the background, so I decided to record his footage because he had a little fun match that I was watching. So, I promise to use his footage in my returning response. Sure, it was your nephew who was playing this game. It just seems weird that you mention this, considering you put up an entire review of the game that was over 12 minutes long. I'm gonna show you what these things look like. This is the Clone Wars Twilight of the Republic playset, Rise Against the Empire playset, The Force Awakens playset, and I have another playset that I actually enjoy playing, Marvel Battlegrounds, which we're going to talk about this one as well. So let me show off the characters that I have for the Star Wars games. I have the awesome bounty hunter Boba, the tough Finn, Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi, Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker, uh, Empire version, uh, Kylo Ren, which he's special FX, if I put him on the pad, he, uh, the portal, he lights, like his cross guard would just flare up and start making noise, uh, Darth Vader himself, and my most recent addition, Darth Maul, those are basically my Star Wars characters, I know I have to get Han Solo, Leia, Chewbacca, Poe, there's a couple others, uh, Kanan and Ezra, which I really want to get those. Now let me get these guys back in the drawer so I can show you guys the Marvel side of things. I think we've seen enough. Because I've been reading my comments, and you know what? I've been laughing. It's funny how pathetic these people are. But I want to talk about something that is called the YouTube cancer. The cancer of YouTube. So you must be referring to uh, Gazi Kodzo or Leafy, maybe Drama Alert or Crap Gamer, The Young Turks, JTech, Mooch, Biblical Reaper? There's a lot of channels out there that are toxic, or they're greedy, or they lead people astray. Surely those are the ones that you're referring to here, John. My buddy over at Burnt Spaghetti agrees that YouTube cancer, it's called rags. Hooray, it's me. AKA the smear of channels. Well, AKA means also known as, and no one else calls me this to my knowledge. Which is vast, I will have you know. I do not smear channels. I take stupid things that other people say that mislead consumers or spread misinformation, and I rebut, correct, debate, counter the things that they say publicly in front of tens of thousands of people. You're just butthurt for some reason because you got exactly what you claimed you wanted. Someone who makes a living off smearing other channels and can't seems to have his own thing besides take down other people. 
Well, first off, I, this is weird how people still think this. I don't make a dime off of YouTube. I haven't made a single cent. Well, somebody gave me a Counter-Strike Go knife once, but that, that's different. That, that was a gift from somebody. By the way, thank you very much. I still haven't burned through all that money yet. You're a good person. Now, I posted this on Twitter a while back, and a lot of people seem shocked, but... I have not enabled monetization on my channel. I cannot uh, have paid content. I don't have fan funding. All that has to be done after monetization is enabled, and it's not. Oh, but rags, people might say, either in confusion or in, well, accusation. I have seen ads playing on your videos. Surely that means you're raking in that sweet and easy YouTube cash. Well, hold your horses, buttercup, because if you make a video where there's copyrighted content that is claimed through the content ID system, the claimant will normally allow the video to exist on YouTube, but they will put ads on the video and they'll make the revenue from it. And look, this system is totally fucked up and everyone knows it. But any ads you see on my video, as of now at least, I may change it in the future, I don't know, I haven't decided. Money changes things, you see. Those ads were placed by the copyright claimants, not by me, and I don't make any money from that claim. They do. So, yeah, I don't monetize my YouTube videos. And even if for some reason you still think I did, then why would I only monetize the minority of them and not all of them? It doesn't make sense if you think I'm greedy. Just so he can gain his own little fame and... Eh. I'm not looking for pity here, but I'll tell you right now, fame is not everything it's cracked up to be. And being a relatively small, famous YouTuber now, it comes with strings attached to it. Whatever fame he claims to have, or whatever fame he believes he has, because when you hear his videos, he's such a snarky, narcissistic bastard. Well, I've been called worse things by better people, John. But what you are describing is what many would call a personality. You don't possess one. At least, not one in any positive sense. But those who watch me and subscribe to my channel and have me on the Twitter feed thing on the internet box, well, they know that my personality shines through in everything that I do, for better or for worse, but my imperfections are part of my character, it's part of who I am. I like to be down to earth with people, I like to be honest and forthcoming about things. And if some people don't like me for my personality, well, that's fine. I'm totally okay with that. But I'd much rather have that be the case than be an um, overly clean, flat, monotone, sterile kind of YouTuber. And his fans are no better. His fans are the most arrogant, ignorant pieces of shit I've ever seen in my damn life. From my personal experience, pretty much all of the fans or subscribers are people who comment on my videos, send me personal messages, emails, or contact me through Twitter. They seem like nice blokes. Maybe if you didn't go and say stupid shit on the internet for everyone to see, people would think better of you. But when you go out and do the things that you've done, say the things you say, accuse people of stuff like this, well, you're not going to get the best side of people. You know, I mean... I don't care what, I'm not retracting nothing I said from my old videos. Oh, nobody expected you to, John. I am not going to because I don't answer to terrorism, aka the comments. I'm going to call the comments terrorism because... Yeah, I'm sure ISIS is super jelly right now, but I think you're being a little hyperbolic. They expect me to stand down, they expect me to retract my statements and take everything I back, man. It's a freedom of fucking speech. I got the freedom to do whatever the hell I want, and if you don't like it... Well, actually, John, you don't have the freedom to do anything you want. You can't make threats or go out and break the law. You know, things like that. The right for me to swing my arms ends at the bridge of somebody else's nose. But, John, I guarantee you, after all the videos that you have made slandering people, just outright telling lies and being offensive and, and insulting, the best thing you could do right now for your reputation is to say, I'm sorry, I was being a butt-tard, and I'm taking it all back. I, I, just, I just said butt-tard. Alrighty, let's move along. You can kiss my fucking ass. By the way, I hope your nephew, whether he exists or not, wasn't in the room when you were doing this commentary because you have quite the potty mouth, sir. Oh, wait a minute. Rags already kisses YouTube's ass, and he kisses other people's ass, probably. Well, no, I hate YouTube. Actually, YouTube is a awful, terrible, shitty website. It just happens to be where everyone is right now, so, ta-da, here I am. 
As for the kissing of actual asses, which is something I have done, it's mostly a foreplay thing. You don't just sit there on a on a butt. It doesn't it doesn't get really anybody anything. It's just something you do on your way to the real finish line, if you get my drift here. It's the language of love, John. It's something you'll learn one day, maybe, perhaps. If we're really being optimistic. I think he kisses Trump's ass and shoots Hillary out of his mouth. Probably. I have no idea what that means, but um, build the wall. You know what? Rags is a prime example, and his followers are a prime example of something that I saw from a YouTube buddy of mine called Gaming Racism. I couldn't find this person either, by the way. And I know that was an old video, and Rags, was, Rags did a video about that. Wait, wait, are you talking about this guy? This Kablam Bandicoot 64 dude? Wait a second, the title of that video is different. He changed the video title. Just like you, John, what do you know? Maybe you are friends. Who knows, if this is uh, someone you count amongst your friends, then dear lord. Talking about gaming racism, how it's connected and not connected. Uh, also smearing another guy while he was at it. Yeah, I smeared a guy who said that PC gamers were Nazis and racists. You know, it takes somebody with no life to do an hour-long video to smear somebody. People talk about this all the time. Oh, you made an hour-long video. That means you don't have a life. I mean, why do you don't? Why do you think I don't upload that much? It's because I'm too busy with my life. Wasn't it John Lennon who said, "Time you enjoy wasting is not time wasted." I mean, if you want to call it wasting time, go ahead, but I have a channel with over 100,000 subs. I'm about to start a Patreon to hopefully get me a second source of income coming in. I'm having fun doing it. I'm playing lots of cool games with a lot of cool people. I'm, I mean, this is a blast for the most part. I mean, yeah, I can get really tiring sometimes, but, you know, full-time jobs. It really does. I mean, <laughs> I have a job. I actually have a life. I don't devote myself to YouTube, but when I do devote myself, I do things for fun. I don't do things for serious, you know? Well, then I pity your employer and your coworkers. But you see, John, I also have a full-time job, and you upload probably more frequently than I do. I don't know. I, I could check, but that would mean going back to your channel, and... Man, I really don't want to do that unless it's absolutely necessary. I've got hobbies, I have friends, I have f friends plus. I'm a productive human being with a social life and a job and all that stuff. Nobody wants to come see a gaming channel for seriousness. They want to come see it for fun. They want to come see it for gaming. John, have you been looking at the like-to-dislike ratios on your video? You are almost universally despised by everybody who looks at your stuff. You probably shouldn't be giving people advice on what people want to see. You will be recorded in history as the guy that you don't want to emulate for success. And, you know, you have those who want to go destroy other people's channels, make other people can't grow on YouTube. I've never destroyed a channel. I don't have that kind of power. If people have removed or erased their channels because of a video that I've done about them, I don't condone that. I don't like that. I don't want anybody's channels to go down. I don't want any videos to get taken down. I don't have the power to do any of that stuff. People choose to react to what they deserve to be given in their own ways. I mean, I don't want your channel taken down. Absolutely not. I want your channel to stay up as long as you want to do it. I swear, I think Rags is one of those people who seems like he's a supporter of YouTube heroes. Even if he says he doesn't, I think he likes that system because then he can go smear the people and be rewarded for it. Again, I don't smear channels, and that would be counterproductive because then those channels would go away. They wouldn't be there for me to criticize. And making the videos, enjoying the creative process, growing a successful YouTube channel, that is the reward. It's not any of this YouTube heroes bollocks. I don't want your videos taken down, and I certainly don't want your channel getting flagged. That would be awful. I mean, geez, I don't know how sad it is. We've come to this day and time where YouTube... I remember when YouTube was a, was a place where gamers could upload without bullshit, without getting people cussing people out. Oh, John, so you're the one talking about swearing now. How, how rich. John, if you had a swearing jar, you wouldn't be able to afford to pay attention. Yeah, they can have discussions in the comments, insult all you want, but Jesus, the way they are now, it's like a cesspool of shit. I think you'll see why gaming morality and our morality 
as humans in general is just in the fucking toilet. John, you're one of the most vile human beings on YouTube I've ever seen. The fact you're talking about this and lamenting the loss of gaming morality, I mean, coming from you, it's laughable, John. You, you've you become a joke, and I don't even think you're intelligent enough to understand why. There's only so few of us who actually have respect for ourselves. And Rags with his little followers and his fucking dog picture. At least I tried to do something different. You what do you mean, at least you're trying to be different? What is different or unique about you, John? You are dull and boring and just offensive and nasty. People like you are a dime a dozen in a buyer's market. Seriously, what do you do that is different or unique? If you respond to this and don't take the videos off YouTube, tell me, really? Or if you're gonna comment on this video or tweet me or whatever, tell me what is different or unique about you. Except your genetic code. You with a fucking dog picture? Do something new. Everybody has a fucking dog. It do the dog doesn't matter. If you're putting thought into the dog picture, it's just an avatar to represent me online. It's it's just a dog, okay? It's it's just easier to edit. It's uniform. It creates an image for your personality. It don't don't think about the dog. The dog is irrelevant. It, c it doesn't even have to be a dog. It could be anything. It could be an inanimate object. It could be uh, it could be another animal. It could fi I'll make one right now. See, now I'm a hermit crab. What? It doesn't matter. It literally does not matter. Okay, everybody can do a dog picture. It doesn't make you special because you have a fucking dog picture. I've never claimed that a dog picture makes me special. And also, I'm uh, people in the freaking comments, like some guy named Tech Man who keeps calling me a liar. Well, because you are. Exactly, Rokon. You're a liar, John. Because you tell lies. And when you tell lies and tens of thousands of people see it, you will be called a liar. It's not an insult, it's just a description of who you are. It is a title befitting the actions that you have chosen to take. Look, you're entitled to say what you want, and until you actually use your fucking ears, don't bother. Because you obviously don't know how to use your fucking ears. Most of you guys can't pull the wax out of your goddamn ears to listen. You're kind of getting petty here, John. My proof's in the bag that everything I did was for fun. Um, it's not actually. It's like that Bandicoot and Blooper 69 or whatever. You can't just go back after the fact and put troll video in the brackets and then say, Oh, guys, it was trolling. In a podcast, you said yourself that the controller bit was trolling, but the rest of it you meant? Look, John, you can't... You can't try to defend your videos with this kind of fervor and zeal if it's trolling. You made four or five videos about other people and about me and my subs and all, all to defend a video that was supposed to be trolling. That's, that's not how it works, John. That's not how it works. Nobody believes this video that you did was trolling. Nobody believes it was trolling. And you can tell yourself as much as you like that it was totally trolling. But even in the description when you said, oh, I take it back, it's not trolling anymore, and now it is trolling. John, no one's buying it. No one's buying what you're selling, John. And I responded, but you know what? I gave you guys what you wanted because that's all these people want. People want you to enable them. I don't have the ability to give people power, John. It's strange that you think I have the power to do anything other than just make videos with my opinions in them. I control nobody but myself. That's why I haven't done a little video in a little while, but you know what? I'm not doing this to enable anybody. I'm just doing this for fun. But you know what? I know this video is going to trigger people, enable people, piss them off, but you know what? That's just how they are. John, there is nobody handling this situation worse right now than you are. When people call you out for a bad idea, and everyone agrees that idea is bad, the worst thing you can do is double down on that horrible, awful idea. And I'm gonna say this right now, not all PC players are like that. I know cool ones, but you know what, it's people like Rags, his followers, Tech Man, Zeost, fucking Cougar Bites, PC players like those. Yeah, the PC players who actually counter your bullshit, the PC players who make rebuttal arguments against your lies, the PC gamers who actually care about the information that's out there and don't want consumers to be misled, who actively see lies and attack the lies for what they are. Our agenda is making sure that the truth is spread. 
That's why I don't care what platform you play on. If you tell lies, then you tell lies. If you spread misinformation, then you spread misinformation, and I'll come after you. They make you wonder, okay, I don't even want to go play PC because you have people like this who have their heads so far up their fucking asses that it's like they're intoxicated by their own shit that's in their mind. John, I couldn't tell you how many messages I get every day, every week, about people who want advice on putting their first computer together, people who come to me and say, I want to be a PC gamer now, your opinion convinced me, I want to be part of the Master Race. I mean, I, I couldn't count them. It's just too many to count, John. When a man like me is next to a child like you, it's obvious towards whom people will gravitate. Nobody is going to watch this video and think, huh, this John guy really knows what he's talking about, doesn't he? Everyone has their personal preference. Just because people don't like what you like, don't bash them. Don't go after them. All right, the dog's back. John, you seem to be laboring under the incorrect assumption that I go after people because they prefer something over another. That could not be farther from the truth. I go after people who lie. I go after people who misrepresent the PC or who talk down to others unnecessarily. I go after people who are displaying anti-consumer behavior or, or who will lead consumers astray. Those are the kinds of people I go against. I mean, the last video I made was a, a PC gamer. I don't care what you play on. What matters is the things that you say. You can say you prefer consoles and there's nothing I can do other than maybe attempt to change your mind through the videos that I make. No one went after you, John, because you preferred consoles. We went after you because you told a shit ton of lies. Don't fucking take it to, take it to a fucking world war because I swear, you PC play, the PC players who are narcissistic and PC elitists especially, you guys say it's a fucking joke that it doesn't exist, but with the way you guys fucking act, you just prove that you guys exist. Oh, look, someone else who doesn't understand the whole PC Master Race thing. I'm not even going to get into this for the 17th billion time. You guys are fucking real. You guys are pretty much closer to the Nazis than any player group in the world. We just can't resist bringing up the Nazis, can we? I mean, wow, it's just fucking fantastic. It's fucking amazing how you can compare these guys to a genocidal group because you know why PC elitists guys like rags and so on and so forth they're gonna cause gaming to fall and I cannot wait to see how you justify that hypothesis John they're gonna cause people to be like okay why do I want to play with these guys they're pretty much some dirty fucking assholes and you know what you ruin it for the rest of everybody yeah guys why can't you just let me spew my lies and my anti-consumer filth in peace. Why do you have to come after me? All I'm doing is lying to people. All I'm doing is trying to lead consumers astray. Can't you see that all I want to do is get people to buy consoles based on untruths that I spew? For those of you who play on PC and you don't have a problem with people playing on consoles? I don't have a problem with console gamers as long as they don't tell lies and all that garbage. I have a problem with consoles and the anti-consumerism that they have, the closed market, all that stuff. That's what I have a problem with. It has negative impacts on the gaming industry, and that's no bueno. I'm cool with you. I'm not talking about you. Chew. But what I am talking about is the ones that always try to disprove you when you have an opinion. Basically, the message that I'm getting here from this section of your video is that you literally think it's bad for people to try and correct incorrect things. You want to be left alone by the PC crowd when you make videos lying about the PC. It's like when NextGen720 makes a video saying that there's no point in having a PC and then he tells lies about it. It's like, you can't talk shit about somebody and then get angry when those people come after you. Or if you do something for fun, they just can't seem to take their heads out of their asses. And I mean, maybe one day, They'll be like normal people. Yeah, I'm done with that video. Let's move on to the next one. This next one's fairly short. I got this video from Techman221, who made a response to the video you're about to watch. That's where I got the footage from. But this video is of John responding to Rokon, who did the last video you watched. And all these videos are going to be in the description if you want to check those channels out and get their takes on this stuff. And I suggest some of you do, because if it wasn't for Rokon and Techman and all these guys, I wouldn't have these videos at all, because, again, John deleted all this stuff. So, again, thanks, you guys, for having these videos done before I did. 
Jesus Christ guys, we're back at it again, but you know what, I'm not even going to make a really long video because this dude is not even worth the amount of time that I put in for most people. You're not a real YouTuber until John Kill 3 d Gaming says he's not even going to devote a lot of time to you. I give him maybe 2-3 minutes the most. I'm responding to Yokan who really thinks that he knows everything and he has, he's another prime example of Rags' fanboys having their heads so far up their fucking asses because he thinks my feelings are hurt. He John, there is no other way to interpret your behavior. You are so butthurt, it is astronomical. It is off the chart levels of the butthurt. You can try and pull the charade like this doesn't bother you and that you're not upset about this, but nobody's buying what you're selling, John. Thinks Rags doesn't have video smearing people. If that's the case, then he's either blind or just a retarded dumb motherfucker himself. Eloquence is always, John. Again, I don't smear channels. They tell a lie. I explain why that lie is a lie. I counter their lie with the truth, and if you want to call that smearing somebody, then w you go ahead and you call it whatever your heart desires, John. If someone says 2 plus 2 is 10, and I say it's 4, that doesn't mean I'm smearing somebody. They can't clearly see their rags just ripped into other people's channels, and I've looked and seen them myself. And I appreciate the views. So, I mean, but I mean, that's how fanboys are like him who follow Rags. You know, they're blind, whatever they think Rags do is gold, masterful. Rokon looks like the Prime King example of that. So, I mean, he could be the biggest fanboy. Rokon is nowhere near my uh, number one fanboy. I don't like when people say they're fanboys of me. I don't want to have fanboys. I want people sub to me, who follow me, who like the things I say based on the things I say. Not because they're just going to do it no matter what. I want people to think for themselves and follow me because they've decided they like my stuff. And I don't know why these guys think their videos are going to get on my nerves. I'm actually just, I respond to them. Because knowing them, they can't resist themselves. They have to say something. Pot, meat, kettle. They, they, technically, they're the ones getting butt here because they're probably like this. How dare a console peasant stand up? It's like they, they're acting like, like they're big time bosses. I mean, I know you're trying to imply, John, that this is still because you have an opinion. No, it's, it's not because you have an opinion. And every time you say that, it's just going to be wrong. It won't become right because you repeat it over and over. It's clear as fucking day. I don't know. How you guys not see it? I don't know how some people, some people do see it, some of my friends see it, and some people who have actually been supporting me. Well, there's a sucker born every minute. I'm sure there are people out there who are foolish enough to come to your defense, John. See it. So, I just can't say anything. I really don't have anything else to say. Oh, thank the Lord and Mr. Ford. He, I just seen this video, had to make an immediate response. Oh, you're still talking. But I don't like to go off scripted stuff, because scripted stuff sounds too fancy, and scripted stuff is retarded. Scripted stuff sounds too fancy, and scripted stuff is retarded. This is what I deal with, people, so that you don't have to. It's good going off raw impulse thoughts, because at least it comes from inside and actually comes from within, instead of jotting things down to sound professional. I'm not going to deny there's a certain charm that comes with people ad-libbing everything as they go, saying words when it comes to them, but it's foolish to say that just because something's scripted means it wasn't done in earnest. I mean, I don't use a script. At the most, I might have a couple bullet points on a second monitor that I'll talk about, but I've never used a script. This isn't a job. This isn't an interview. You don't have to sound professional. You can sound as raw and dirty and convoluted as you want. Well, it's not a job for me either, John, but a little bit of professionalism can go a long way. A good quality mic, a good speaking voice, an extensive vocabulary, these all lend to a potentially successful channel. As for raw and dirty and convoluted, well, you nailed that one, John, I'll give you that. But, like I said in my previous few videos, this is what fanboys like Rags and PS people want. They want people to do videos to respond to them so they can feel enabled. Well, showing how wrong people are and growing a channel successfully on YouTube because of it does make me feel kind of warm and fuzzy inside. That's all they want. You forgot all that sweet, sweet YouTube cash moolah, John. Remember? I mean, it's sad that I have to keep 
doing this, but you know what? I get a kick out of doing this because they, they force it. They want it, and you know, who am I to deny them? No, John, we don't force anything. We don't have any control over you. What they want, guys. Who am I to deny them the ability to have something to do and something to talk about? But Rolcon, the fanboy of rags, buddy, I your video doesn't mean shit. Your buddy doesn't do shit. So... I don't know what you're, I don't know what, who you think you were trying to- John, this is more for our entertainment at this point than it is for you. I make videos because it's entertaining for me, because I can have a successful YouTube channel, because I could get popularity, because I like it, I enjoy it, and I enjoy the benefits that are associated with it. All you are, John, is just a little stepping stone for more talented, handsome, witty, clever, well-endowed people like me to take advantage of. So that we can grow our own channels. In any event, that's enough of that video. Let's move on to the next one. John Kill 3D Gaming Strikes Back Rebuttal by Michael Warner. Let's see what John's about this time. I don't step down to all these pathetic sheep that they just want to smear people and destroy character. John, there has to be character there to destroy. This is going to be another response to the PC and console gaming. But you know what? Just so no one thinks I'm spewing a bunch of shit... And I do do research. If you though, if you are those who didn't think my first video was not a troll, even though it's confirmed to be a troll, I even have a podcast to prove it, then you are some idiotic dumb fucks. But those two who see that it was a joke and actually enjoyed that... Which is nobody. Which there has people who have told me they have. They are lying. Kudos to you, you are much smarter than most of these people. But let me get down to some serious business. Admit it, PC is too expensive. This is a common claim. Never a claim made by PC gamers, though, oddly enough. If we take a look at graphics cards, which are normally the most important, the most expensive part of a computer build, and oftentimes the only part that's swapped out during upgrades. Just at the moment I watched this part in your video, I went to Amazon, and only Amazon, nowhere else, so other deals can certainly exist that are better. 960s can be anywhere from 200 to 168. 147 if you want to buy them used. Moving up to the GTX 1060s, there are 6 and 3 gigabyte versions at $200 for the 3 and 304 for the 6. I mean, you have a lot of leeway here in terms of the amount of money that you can spend. Computer builds can be tailored to almost any budget and any design or purpose. There are also upcoming cards that are low-end, like the 1050 Ti. The 1050 is rumored to be around $120 and about $150 for the 1050 Ti. These cards will certainly perform better than the consoles will, and they're much, much cheaper. I was about to wrap it up and move to the next part of the video, but on a whim I decided to look up my own graphics card, and you can buy a Zotac Amp Extreme 980 Ti, 6GB version, for $385 used. And I say used with confidence because one of mine is used. And if it didn't work well for me, I would never recommend it to anybody else. $385 for an extremely powerful card that will last you for a long, long, long time. And 385 is a lot to some people, and that's fine, but this is a high-end card, and it will be for a while. And yes, I know, I'm only taking into account the GPUs, but again, there are so many different kinds of builds you can go for for different purposes and different form factors. I would be here all day if I was trying to explain all of them. That's why I only was looking at GPUs for that. But again, that only goes to show the versatility of PCs. Okay, this is a very common claim. PlayStation 4 is more accessible, the Xbox One is weaker than the PS4, and no one has enough money or time to bust out that type of money for a PC that you always have to constantly use. You have to constantly upgrade your drives, you have to constantly upgrade your graphics card, you have to constantly get newer hardware just to keep going. I tell peasants a million times, stop exaggerating. Sure, the weaker the cards you get, the higher the chances that you'll want to upgrade it later, keyword being want. The claim that you constantly have to upgrade your PC is ludicrous. Most people will upgrade because they want to, not because of any need. Plus, the ability to upgrade your system when you want to is an element of consumer choice that you can make on your own. It certainly provides you far, far more options that you can customize to your personal needs more than every 10, 7, 5 years going out and buying a new system with locked hardware. 
At least that was the case, though now we have these strange pseudo-intergenerations, and I honestly don't know how that will play out. Which makes me wonder if that's the way that consoles are going in terms of upgrading and new systems and more power than just buy a PC. You ask, rhetorically, I assume, who has the kind of money to get into PC gaming? Well, apparently, a whole damn lot of folks. If you go to the SteamDB site, to the online charts at Concurrent Steam Users, on the 9th of October, you can see the 24-hour peak was just shy of 13 million. And remember, this only counts Steam. League of Legends and uh, Overwatch, EA Origin stuff, that's not counted here. It's not saying that you don't need to upgrade a console every three to four years. Yeah, they make different models, but you don't have to keep buying different parts or continue to modify the damn thing. I mean, okay, you guys got your things on the computer that that's what makes you great. That's fine. That's all you, but things on the console, there are people who prefer them, and you can't just backlash at people for an opinion. Except that I can. Sure, everyone's entitled to an opinion, but... Well, quite frankly, some people's opinions are garbage. Okay, no one seems to understand preference and opinion. They really don't nowadays. Along with that, the Valve Corporation Steam software deals gives you daily deals of hundreds of games. That is true. I give you credit for that. Well, God forbid. But you cannot say that Xbox and PlayStation do not give you that type of ceiling and uh, sales and discounts. I actually can because the level of marketplaces and discount amounts plus the simple fact that digital distribution has less of an overhead so it often costs less, I can say that games on the PC are cheaper. No one is going to say that the consoles don't have sales on games or discounts here and there, but when you're talking about the cost of games, especially over time, well the PC is the clear winner. You can't say they don't, you can't say one does it better than the other. They both do, but the PC does it way, way better. As someone who's played extensively on both platforms, in fact, I've played on the console longer, I guarantee you, games on the PC are cheaper. One is great. Both are great in their own rights, okay? And I'm not kissing anyone's ass. I'm just explaining reasons why. And if you know, if you agree, that's fine. If you want to, if you at least want to tell me professionally or actually be civil about it i'll listen to it but if you're gonna be an ignorant fuck and if you're gonna slander people kind of like how you got this guy rags and his followers i don't think you know what slander means slander is oral defamation in which someone tells one or more persons an untruth about another which untruth will harm the reputation of the person defamed first off you don't have a reputation to ruin so there's that but also i haven't told any untruths about you unless i was poking fun at you I haven't misrepresented anything that you've said, and you have no grounds to call anything that I say about you slander. Also, it wouldn't be slander, it would be, it would be libel, but whatever. I don't give a damn how powerful a YouTuber is. Well, I mean, I don't have any power. I just make videos on the internet, and that's about the extent of that. Even little YouTubers can topple great ones. I'm sorry, and the information that I have read comes from a PC friend of mine who has been a PC gamer for a long time. He even said, PC gaming is dead. Well, he sounds like an idiot to me. Want to link me his channel so I can check him out? I don't care if he's a PC gamer or a console gamer or anybody. If he's spreading misinformation, if he's misleading consumers, I'll take issue with that. Okay, PC gaming is, isn't user-friendly. To be fair, though, I don't think this PC gamer friend of yours even exists. I think he's just a fabrication that you use to attempt to give yourself some sort of a justification. But you can attempt to make the argument that closed platforms are friendly for the user uh, when it's obvious that PC is definitely the more pro-consumer choice. From a sheer usage standpoint, PC gaming doesn't take really any more knowledge than just the day-to-day -day know-how that you already probably know from handling computers in your day-to-day -day life. You don't have to take a class or a course. And if you ever have any problems, normally the fix is just a Google search away. It's kind of like building the PC itself. The only people who say it's difficult and hard to do are people who've never done it. And it's always the console gamers who sell themselves short and say that it can't be done. Digital distribution is worse than physical distribution for PC. There are benefits to both physical and digital media. I prefer digital media. It never goes bad. The sales are incredible. You can get returns on it like normal. 
I could go into the benefits of digital and physical, but it's beside the point. You can prefer one or the other. But to make a blanket statement that digital's better than physical or physical's better than digital, you should back that up with something. I think digital's better because, like I said, the games never go bad. I can refund them. They're often much cheaper because the games have a much lower overhead. They don't require shipping and physical packaging and the costs associated with those. It's easier to keep the collections all together, and I can access them from multiple points because they're account-specific. They never get, obviously, physically broken or damaged. Those are real advantages. PC gamers pirate video games more than console gamers. And it's true and it's false at the same time, but the rate is still high. It's true and false at the same time. Well, count me convinced now. But in all seriousness, pirating is really a complex issue. I'm not trying to say that in order to defend the PC or defend pirates, because, again, like I said, it's a very complex issue. There was a survey done on PC Gamer where 50,000 people turned in their results, and the results were that 35% of the survey takers said that they pirated games. And it might be easy to instantly raise your finger and say, well, obviously this means a PC isn't profitable when that's obviously not the case. And remember, this was a global survey. Shocking as it is, the entire world isn't America. And the situations financially or economically in all places around the world are different than they are here. For instance, in our report on the state of PC piracy, we spoke to a pirate who lives in Bulgaria. He explained a new game on release day costs almost a third of a minimum wage earner's monthly income. So imagine new games costing $400 in the United States. The thing is, they think $50 and 50 euros is the same for every country, but it's not because the wages in an economy are different. Looking at a list of average wages in Europe, many countries with high piracy rates, like the one mentioned above, sit near the bottom of that list. Denmark and Norway, with piracy rates around 26% and 22%, respectively, according to our respondents, have the sixth and third highest net incomes in Europe. These stark differences in piracy rates, where income differs so drastically, can't prove causation, but... It sure, look it sure looks like strong evidence to back up Overkill's claim, and he was the Bulgarian pirate from a moment ago. I won't go more into the article. There's a lot of information, and it really deserves its own video. I'd like to have Fringy or Top Hats or somebody uh, go over these numbers with me and really dissect everything that's inside of it. There are extensive graphs and numbers and explanations given by people, and again, it's over 50,000 responders, so it gives a pretty reasonable look at the landscape for piracy. Again, I'll link this article from PC Gamer in the description below, and I highly encourage that you take a look at it, because this is a complex issue, and it's not something that I really want to focus on in a video that's already as long as this. PC is clear to be un uh, more unstable than the console themselves. Well, you might want to be a bit more specific as to what you mean by unstable. Do you mean the hardware? Or do I have to bring up the console hardware? Uh, I, by the way, do own a PS4, and my first one didn't work. New, out of the box, I had to ship it out there and get a new one. And it was summarily, mostly ignored. As I've said before, I've went through three Xbox 360s. So, if you want to talk about stability, well, you know what? Maybe it's best if you don't bring that up. I've never had any problems with my PC, and that doesn't mean other people don't. But, like I said, with upgrading, it's a hyperbolic problem that people who don't play on PC often cite as a reason why you shouldn't go over. It's fear of something that has a very low chance of actually happening. Of course, 95% of my problems, rough estimate, were solved by simply restarting the computer, which was, oh no, a couple minute delay at most. Are PCs more stable? I don't know. Are they more unstable? I don't know. I would definitely be willing to say that they're more unstable, but then again, most problems can be self-diagnosed and fixed on your own. The forums are full of helpful tips to take care of any issues that you do have. I've been gaming on the PC for around four-ish years now, and I have never encountered a problem I could not fix myself, and I have very limited knowledge with computers. Again, just daily how-tos that you pick up from living in a world where computers are everywhere. But this goes back to a console thought process that I think is almost self-depreciating. If you play on consoles, you're not stupid. 
And if console players tell you you aren't smart enough to handle the PC, well, who's really throwing the insults around here? You're intelligent enough to operate a PC. Everybody is. My grandmother can operate a PC. Maybe it would be best if you didn't assume that console players just couldn't handle the slight complexity that may possibly arise in some circumstances on occasion, perhaps. And if you want to argue with this me, go to the burnt, go to the channel Burnt Spaghetti, who's a buddy of mine. He's PC and he understands. So if we want to argue with you, we should go to somebody else's channel. Gosh, you sound so confident in yourself. Okay. PC's graphics, sometimes they're great, sometimes they can be as equal at the console. Literally every multi-platform game that I have played on the PC looks far better than its console counterpart. The amount of gimping that you would have to do to textures and resolutions, anti-aliasing, anisotropic filtering, all that jazz. The amount of gimping you'd have to do to all those settings to get it on par with the console versions is astounding and staggering. Though, oddly enough, if that's something that they actually did, I mean, imagine the frame rates you would have on PC. It would open your eyes to a whole new concept if you've never seen anything over 60 before, especially. I recall a video I watched recently by Jim Sterling, how Square Enix kept meddling with Deus Ex. In the video, he has gameplay from the console, of Deus Ex, and I couldn't help but instantly say to myself, Dear God, this looks ugly. It looks awful. This game looks terrible on consoles. Like, it's embarrassing almost. I was taken aback at how jaggy and awful and bad it looked. Looking around online just a little bit, there was a GameStop, car a GameStop article talking about the performance of the game, and there was a bit on that article which was interesting. With a GTX 970, which is about a 250-ish dollar card, on Ultra 1080p, you would get over 33 frames per second average. Or over 30 FPS average, which puts it above the consoles. And it says that if you mix it up with high and medium settings, you could get to 60 FPS at 1080p. So a fairly budget card still is able to pump out really good performance in this game. Maybe there are some games out there that parody is real, but I can't think of any. Maybe some pixelated games and some indie games which can run at max settings no matter what you play them on, but honestly none come to mind. I can't think of any. But from personal experience, I can tell you that there is no way that consoles can reach what my PC can do. Oftentimes with console games, especially multi-platform games, there are options like levels of anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering that simply do not exist on the console. But if you prefer to upgrade your graphics, that's fine by you, but you don't have to stick your beliefs of what you feel for the gaming down other people's throat. That's kind of like trying to stuff religion or political parties down someone's throat. What utter nonsense. How is it even possible for me to stick my beliefs in anyone's face on YouTube? I can't force anybody to watch my videos. People have to click them voluntarily. You come to me, I don't force you to click on anything. You come to me, I come to you, that's how these videos work. It sounds like someone out there just has an opinion you hate, and so you're throwing out, oh, don't force yourself upon me because it's just something I don't like, and it, it is occupying the same public space as you. So... That is one of the worst claims to argue about is graphical difference. No one really cares. No one gives a shit. Obviously, people do care about graphics. And there's nothing wrong with caring about graphics. I mean, a beautiful game is a beautiful game. Granted, graphics do not a good game make. But seeing The Witcher 3 on Ultra, Doom, all these beautiful titles running in ways that consoles never could, graphics definitely help improve the experience. And it takes an utter fool to argue for the console and then say that graphics is bad for us to bring up. There are some things you just don't want to mention if you're arguing for the console. And at the top of that list is graphical fidelity in games. You cannot win that battle. It, it physically cannot be done. It is something that is objectively measurable in terms of resolution, anisotropic filtering levels, anti-aliasing levels, view distance settings, don't go there. You cannot win this fight. This is not a hill you want to die on. Okay. If you want to play PC, it's, ca it's, it's, it's your capabilities and it's your department of what you want to play. I'm not discouraging you from that. 
But what I am going to discourage on is people attacking one another for their opinions. Again, we're not attacking you for opinions. We're attacking you for shitty opinions that mislead consumers. I mean, I did a podcast with my buddy at Gotham Gaming, who some of you seem to have be taking an issue with as well. Your buddy might be upset that you didn't say his channel's name correctly. You're the wrong ones that want to take an issue with him. He is far worse than me. I mean, you're both awful, yeah, but no. No one's worse than you, John. I can deal with you fucks. He has no patience for it. So you'd rather stay stealing dealing with me than dealing with him, because he'll shut you guys down in 2.2 seconds. Actually, 1.1 seconds, however fast your hard drive you believe you can go. I mean, not to doubt that Gotham Gaming is, you know, 21st century intellectual titan, but I'm going to go on a limb and say that he probably couldn't hold a candle to me in really any way. I don't know why you would want to drag him into this. This isn't about him. This is about you and mostly about the things you say. The average spin of a hard drive, by the way, is 7,200 rotations per minute, so... Now, the reason why people feel PC is inaccessible to most gamers and accessible to most is that... No, go ahead, John. Tell me what people who have no idea about PC gaming think about PC gaming. Tell me. I'm, I'm all ears about their educated, informed opinions. There are people who can handle the complex nature of the PC, and there are those who cannot handle its complex nature. <laughs> bigotry of low expectations. And those who just want to sit down, relax, and play a game, not turn on a device, log in, connect, so on and so forth. John, you understand that those are literally the steps of playing a console, right? You turn the device on, and you log in and connect. I mean, that's what you had to do to play this game online. I mean, arguably, it's less steps on a PC because you just leave your desktop on. I mean, maybe you rouse it from its slumber, but it's not quite the same. Alright, now, let me get into my section where I need to address Mr. Rags. I do ever so love to be the center of attention. Look, like I said from the beginning, the video... The reason I changed it to express there was a troll to hopefully you guys will listen because it was a troll. It was confirmed even before it was made that it was a troll. And I did a podcast with the guy Ziad. This one here? Yeah, you made yourself look like a fool for 45 minutes. You did another one with Joshua Upham. These videos, by the way, are not consistent at all in what you say. Look, John, no one's buying what you're selling here. You can't make videos and then say they're trolling and then say, oh, I take back that it was trolling and then take down all the videos after you say, oh, it was just for reaction. It just doesn't make any sense. We actually talked about this civilly, like, gentlemen. I don't think you guys are acting very much like gentlemen. I think you're acting like little stuck-up bitches that just have your panties in a holes because you can't, no one can have a different opinion than you. Did you say panties in a holes? In any event, you wouldn't know the first step to being civil, John. These videos here, this compilation, that's a very revealing insight into your character. Yes, I know the PC master race or the PC elitist thing is a joke, but you know what? The way you guys act, you make it seem like it's a legitimate thing. Well, it is a joke. It's a tongue-in-cheek reference to something, and um, you should learn to live with that. And the way you guys have been acting about that, I'm starting to think it is a legitimate thing. You guys have turned it into an actual legitimate, you know, group. And, I, and, and trust and believe me, I know PC guys who are cool, and they say the same thing. There's 50% of PC players, they're great, they're nice people, I've met a few of them. I've gone to conventions here where I live in the city. 50%, exactly down the middle, what a nice even number. And I have met with them, and we've had our ups and downs about console and gaming, but you know what, they respect what I prefer. Well, I have no obligation to respect your preferences. And I certainly don't have an obligation to respect the bullshit that you spew. You can't spread out this misrepresentation of PC gaming and then hide behind, Ooh, it's my opinion. They respect what I play, and I don't need to disparage them. But now you have these other groups, who I'm going to talk about right now. These other groups can be some very seriously ignorant fucks. And you know what? I'm not going to, you know, be light on what I'm going to say. Because they weren't light with the shit they said to me. Because clearly... They need to be fucking admitted because they don't understand the difference between joke and taken seriously. Well, it was apparently so well masked that 80,000 plus viewers 
didn't see it either. Even Re uh, Ziad, I told him it was a combination of being serious and trolling just to see the reaction that would be received. Oh, so you're being serious. Okay, gotcha. You said you mixed trolling with your actual opinions on the subjects. In which case, we weren't going after your tone, we were going after the things you actually said. And trolling or not, if that was your actual opinion, it doesn't matter what you call it. And apparently he said I did a good job acting it out, acting serious, to, to pass off the whole trolling. You know what, if you guys can't see the difference between joking and serious, then A, loosen, uh, tighten the screws you have in your damn head. If not, stick to your World of Warcraft Gmod and all that shit, because you obviously can't fit in the general public. Didn't you, didn't you say something a moment ago about, about being civil? Now, there's another thing that's a toughie. Back to digital distribution. Yes, both... No, wait, yeah. Both, play, both all consoles and PC have digital distribution, but the facts that I have learned from my friend of mine, Burnt Spaghetti, saying that digital distribution is not as good on the PC. Well, Burnt Spaghetti's a total idiot if he is saying that, and if you're getting your information from him, then it's no wonder that your views on PC gaming are so far skewed that people can't distinguish what your actual opinions are from supposed trolling. The claim that digital distribution is worse on the PC than the consoles, I couldn't come up with reasons for that if I tried. I'm legitimately curious to see what his justification for saying that is. Because I've got nothing. The PC has more online marketplaces to go to. Uh, the PC doesn't bottleneck your internet for the downloads like the console does. The extensive digital marketplace of the PC allows for a lot of games to it will exist, period, because they don't need to make physical copies. I just don't... I, I legitimately can't think of any reason why he would think that. It's still very risky because you can you can get refunds, yes, but it's a rare occurrence because anything can happen. No, they're not a rare occurrence. Whenever I get a game and I don't like it, then I refund it. There's nothing rare about it. You go to Steam or Origins and let them know why you want a refund, and they give you a refund. There you go. It's done. Finished. Over. You get more attacks on the PC than you do on the consoles. And don't get me wrong, I'm saying consoles has had its fair share of attacks. Look, I survived the PlayStation hack that knocked everyone off. Yeah, it reminds me of that time that Steam got taken off. Uh, well, I mean, well, I mean, uh, that, that didn't really happen, but I mean, maybe if it did, you might have a case. I survived the DDoSing. Okay, I've been there. I get where you guys are coming from. But you cannot say that no more things happen to you than no more happens on console. Well, we wouldn't say that because that sentence doesn't technically make sense. I've personally only been disrupted one time to my memory, and that was the second day of the beta for Battlefield 1. Again, the second day. You get in on the true first day if you signed up early. But that second day, yeah, man, for most of the day, it was kind of frustrating. But, I mean, by the end of the day, it was done. And then things carried on like normal. Other than that, I can't really think of any examples. I think Overwatch had some problems for, again, about a day or so. That was in early August. But our services have never been down across the board for weeks at a time. That stuff just doesn't happen on PC because it's not one service providing everything to you. It's a multitude of different companies all cooperating together to give you your experience. PC and consoles, equal bad things can happen. I mean, potentially, yeah, but... Potential is not reality. When you have troll assholes, and I admit I was being a troll asshole, but you know what? I wasn't being a troll asshole to harm people, to insult them, or to hurt their feelings. I was being a troll to get a few jokes, get a few laughs. Yeah, hilarious. Get maybe a debate and discussion going, and guess what? That worked, but you still have the ignorant fucks on one end of the board. John, at this point, I think you're confusing swearing and being clever. Those are actually, they're actually two different things. No matter what, you're going to have them on one end of the board. And unfortunately, this has gone a little too far. But I thought you wanted the attention. I thought you wanted the views. I thought you wanted to have all this discussion. If anything, you should be thanking me. Okay, I've gotten life-threatening uh, threats. I have gotten SWAT threats. I have gotten anything you can think of. And for what? I'm actually being the adult and talking very civil. You are by no stretch of the imagination doing that, actually. To people. And 
If I could talk civil, and they can't, even Mr. Rags, who thought he was being civil. Well, being civil wasn't really my goal, at least within reason. I mean, I just can't get my head around this. You say it's a troll video, but you continue to back up all the stuff that you say in other videos where you say, I was just trolling. If you were just trolling, then you would say, I don't really think that, I was just going for reactions, but... I mean, you're, you're trying to back up all the stuff that you're saying in that video. You can't have it both ways. He was still being an ignorant, name-calling, calling out fuck. Yum, yeah, some more irony. Okay? And he can respond to me at any time he wants to. I'll watch it, I'll respond back and forth, we can respond back and forth all day. Okay? Well, I mean, I, I've got... I got better things to do, quite frankly, but, I mean, it took me a while to make this, because I just have better things to do. Look, the facts are what they are. I did what I did, that's fine. I'm convinced you don't know what the definition of fact is. First you say they're attacking me because of opinions, and uh, now you're saying, well, it was the facts are the facts. I mean, I just... I don't know at this point. How much longer do we have to go? It's the freedom to say and do what I feel and to do what I say, okay? I play on consoles, that's me. That's what I do. I play on consoles. Yeah, we, um, we heard. But I don't go into some, I've been in friends' houses, my friends' houses where they're playing a PC, and I was like, oh, cool, what are you playing? They're not a PC fucking elitist that goes down my throat saying, oh, yeah, you should be playing this, da 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 Ah, uh, you wish I could go down your throat. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry, that was immature of me. I'm sorry, I just... I'm, I mean, I'm getting kind of bored at this point. I mean, man, these things are dragging on. Let's cut the chit-chat and get to the good bits. I had a gaming PC once. I used to play World of Warcraft. I used to play all this other stuff. But being that I always grew up with the console, that became my playing field. My playing field was consoles. My playing field has always been consoles. Well, except for when it wasn't because you were on PC, but... And I'm not discouraging you if you play on the PC. Yeah, who who would get that impression, guys? Sir, yeah, who would think that? So you shouldn't have to discourage me for playing on the console. We are almost both sides of the same coin. The problem is you have those people who think they are superior. You have those people who, who make the PC gamers look like they're assholes, ignorant, and stupid. Well, you know, at this point, John... I do think that I'm better than you, and it has nothing to do with your gaming preferences, either. The way that you have been behaving is deplorable. I can think of no positive qualities to attribute to you. I guarantee maybe one day there's going to be a time where PC gaming or console gaming will vanish. What are you going to do then? You know, you say this hypothetically, but when we look at what's happening with the consoles, I mean, they are kind of turning into PCs slowly but surely. What arguments are you going to form? Well, the same ones I always do. Arguments that are based off of statistics, uh, good reasoning, experience. And for the side note, I'm playing The Last of Us, a game that PC doesn't even know what it's like to have. A masterpiece of a game. Okay? Um, John. John, maybe you haven't been paying attention. The Last of Us, it's not a PlayStation exclusive. I can play it on my PC. I can stream The Last of Us to my PC. I mean, they're advertising on PlayStation.com, The Last of Us, on a laptop. Just wanted to put that out there. Yeah, and you failed spectacularly. You know, facts are facts, right? Isn't that what you said? In any event, enough of that video. Let's move on to the last one, and we'll see if this last video here that I'm going to be covering, we're going to see if this video here has more wit, charm, cleverness. We're going to see if you display an, a level of intellect and prowess for your arguments, more so than you have been displaying in the past. We're going to see if this video here can prove to us that you are not the fool that we think you are. Uh, today, to, feed, to use Star let's use my Star Wars gameplay as an example. For a new hashtag I want to start, and hopefully it'll pick up, it's called Console Lives Matter. Nope. 